Hi, this is Mike from Party of Four Crafts. Today I'm going to be showing you how to split things in Inkscape, splitting images and splitting words and things like that to make keychains and such. So first I, I want to say that that was kind of a trick question. In Inkscape you can't really split an image. So you'll see that sometimes people tell you that you can crop an image. Um, if you draw a shape over an image and then you can go object clip set but the issue is if I save that and then I switch over to the Glowforge app if I upload this to the Glowforge app now this is the file that I was just working on <laughs> You see it said the design contains a clip path and now the whole baby Yoda is there. There's the rest of it. The whole baby Yoda is there. The Glowforge app doesn't know how to do clip paths, which is what we just created. And so it, it doesn't work once you pull it into the app. So you really have to use a bitmap program in order to crop pictures. There's probably some really complicated ways that you can do it in Inkscape, but it's not worth it. GIMP is free and you can do it in GIMP, which is a bitmap, not a vector program. You could do it in Photoshop, you could do it in GIMP, you could even do it in Microsoft Paint uh, if you wanted to, and then just save it as a JPEG. But what you can do in Inkscape is you can split words and other shapes. So a lot of people last year for Mother's Day were doing the split mom keychains where they split open the word mom and then put the kids' names in between. There's a couple ways to do that, and some of them I, I really don't like. So I've already converted these to paths um, that I've showed you in a couple of other videos, and I union them together so that I can do it in one step instead of three steps. So if I were to just draw a line where I want to cut this, shift, click it, and go path, cut path. First, they, they all went like that. I can click and put the black fill back, and you can see it's, it's all weird and it's messed up. And, if I grab a part of this and move it up, it looks like it's a solid shape, but it's not. If I turn on an outline and make it a bit thicker so that you can see it, you see there's a red outline all the way around except down here. This is an open path, and you would have to go through every single one of these pieces and close that path. So I'm going to undo all that and show you a different way that I like better. So instead of using a line and cut path, I'm going to suggest using a rectangle. So if you want to cut a chunk out of this, it's really easy. You draw a rectangle the size that you want to cut the chunk out. You shift click it using the F2 arrow, and then you can go path and difference. So that's pretty much what you want right there. And each one of these, if I go path, break apart. You can see if I put an outline around that, the outline goes all the way around. Um, it's a closed path. But let's say you didn't want a big chunk taken out of it. Let's say you just wanted it split in half like sometimes people do. So what I do for that is I take this rectangle and I just give it a height of like 0.05 millimeters. It looks like a line, but it's actually a rectangle. And so if I put that through the, the center of the word, shift click and do path difference, it just did the same thing. It split this all in half. And now if I do path break apart, I can select all this bottom part here and ungroup it. Select all this bottom part, separate it out. And if I put an outline around it, it's all closed all the way around. You can see when I hover over it, uh, or if I were to make that, that stroke thicker. So that's my preferred way of, of splitting things, is to use a rectangle. And if I just want to split it directly in half, then I just do a rectangle that's as thin as a line, but still a rectangle. And I use path difference to split it. So after that, if, if you wanted to do uh, like the keychains uh, for, for Mother's Day, for that I would do the bigger rectangle. I would use 
path difference and then just draw two thin rectangles across to attach the letters to uh, control D that move it down don't need outlines on those so I'll just shift click the X down in the left corner to turn off the outlines and that would be it now you can just put the children's names in between and uh, most of them had the the glyphs the hearts and the swirls like I uh, taught you how to do in one of my other videos so that's it that's how you uh, split things that's how you can make one of these mom or dad or grandma keychains whichever one you want of course you would want to do all capital letters so you don't have the Y sticking down and all of that so I hope that helps. Thanks for joining me. If you'd like to see when new videos come out, just click the subscribe button. I'll see you next time.